All right, can you hear me now? All right, you're welcome. Another time in the afternoon, uh, let's go. Well, we started uh, talking about money yesterday and we spent our time uh, looking at why we're here. And we agreed that we're here for God's glory. We're here for God's witness. God's whole idea for creating us is because he's interested in showing his glory. Uh, sorry to say, but creation is not about us. Creation is about God. It has nothing to do with us. We're just incidental. Idea to show him for his glory. Yeah. Why is he out? Taking it from YouTube, right? So you be... Why is it behind me? Why is it echoing like that? All right, you need to go ahead. Can you go ahead and me a bit? Now working. All right, so um, new to YouTube. All right, so but let's continue from that. You know, it's we're here for God's glory. It's not about us. I'm not saying we're not important. We are important to God. But for as long as we look at our importance, we miss God. It is not about us. It is about God. We are about God. We're created for his glory. We are not bigger than his glory. We are not bigger than God. We did not call me of our own. The person that made us, made us for one reason. It is for his glory. It is for his glory. The day we start looking away from his glory, the day we start calling other than his glory, we have missed it. The old manual about us is it just has to be about his glory. That's why Paul writes, whatsoever we do, it has to be to the glory of God. Only in his glory do we find our essence. Otherwise, we are missing something. We're not getting the fullness of what the Father has for us. Our essence, our life, our affirmation, our power, our strength is found in the glory of God. Other than the glory of God, we will miss it. Right? So let's take it from that. So we're created for his glory. How do we bring about that glory that he has created? What he tells us in Genesis 1, 26, 27 is the fact that God says that we were created in his image and in his likeness. God was the mini God. We were created in the image of God and in the likeness of God. We, were, we are mini God. God did not make us any other thing but himself, right? In being the image and likeness of God, we show forth the glory of God, right? In being the image and likeness of God, we show forth the glory of God. Therefore, image means that we are, we, there is, uh, there is a, a, the, the reality. An image is a prototype. Right, architects want to build a building, they first of all do a prototype, something that represents the real thing. Right, and the Bible talks about shadow and reality. We are the image of God, meaning that to show forth his glory, the glory of God is found in the, the, the to the extent to which that image represents what he's supposed to represent. One image stops representing what's supposed to represent the glory fades. The glory of God is found in the closeness, the proximity to what extent we truly become the image of him who we are supposed to be the image of, right? So in glorifying God, we are finding out who God is and we are reflecting that image in this life. Right, so part of the way we do, do glorify God is to reflect Him in this life because we are created to be His image, right? And His likeness, something that is close to being Him, to the extent to which we become, we show forth His likeness. To that extent, to we glorify God, right? We'll continue. Let's pray. Let's pray. 
Rokaki Hidebo Shikide Bamba Pakada Gabaya Kapakelaya Gabaya Aki Nikaraba Baba to look at Pakalaya Katada Gabaya Iboro the Kemere Mumbo Shaketeke Kokonia Katana Nikaraba Pakalaya Katada Gabaya Katade Mascara Babaya Catacay, 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 Mascara Babaya
Rabba, <laughs> 
Mascara Bayaka Kakepako, Mascara Gada Gabayaka Pacalabaya, Rabaka Pacalabaya Kataka Pacalabaye, Mindor of Bobo, Maskene Gerebo, Mascara Baba Kataka Pacalabaya Katabe, Mascala Gada Gabayaka Pacalabaya, Rabaka Pacalabaya Kataka Paca, Arabaka Pacalabaya Kataka Paca. Marakatada, Marakata Kapaka Labaya Kataka Paka Labaya, Marakatada, Maria Kanabaya Kapaka Labaya, Maria Kataka Paka Labaya Kata, Buska Lagabaya, Buska Lagabaya, Baba Baba Kataka Paka, Maska Laba Baba Makata Kapaka Labaya, Makata Kapaka Labaya, Illibrikin, Kopoko Nikati, Hidaga Kataka Kapaka Labaya. Riba baba makata kapa kala baye harima kute kete ande kele boya katunda rubaye katanda ria bara ya katanda mara baba makata kapa kala baya riba baba baba makata kapa kala baya riba baba makata kapa kala baya riba kata kapa kala baya kata kata kapa kala baya kata kapa kala baya riba kata kapa kala baya kata maskala gada gada ya riba baba kata kapa kala baya Ya <laughs> Ya kata 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 kata
Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the time of prayer. And we're just talking about the glory of God, like we started yesterday. Uh, all in a bit talk about money. We spoke about being in the image and likeness of God. That is God's glory. God made us in an image and his likeness. Yesterday we talked about dressing and keeping, maintaining his glory, causing his glory to grow, causing his glory to shine forth. Being in the image and likeness of God is another way by which we show forth his glory to the extent to which we show forth God's image and likeness. To that extent, do we glorify God? God takes glory in our being. Our being, our being, our being, our being, our being, our being, our being. It's not as much as what we do, but it's how it reflects him, how it reflects his glory. That is what's important. And we remind ourselves about scripture. Jesus Christ says, at the end of time, at the end of time, what will differentiate people, what will show whether you belong to Jesus or you don't belong to Jesus is not what you necessarily did. Jesus Christ told us in black and white, he did not leave us to guess. He said people will come to him on that last day and say, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. But yet he will say, I don't know you. It is not about the fishing. It's not about the hunting. It's not about the building church. It's not even about the evangelism. It's about doing the will of the Father. What is the will of the Father? That his glory will be shown forth. If I do everything and it's not his glory that's shown forth, I have made a mistake. Oh. I have missed God though. All of these people that are getting doctor, how much does doctor show the glory of God? How much mm -hmm. does bishop show the glory of God? How mm -hmm. much does apostle show the glory of God? How much does archbishop show the glory of God? All this cross, this cap, this masquerade and all of that. What glory is this showing? Man or God? I don't know. But each person needs to answer. Because mm -hmm. on that last day, Jesus Christ still says, that you will come to me and you say, I did this, I did that, I did that. But the only thing that would differentiate the goats from the sheep. You know, Jesus Christ gave us several parables talking about the goats and the sheep. Talks mm -hmm. about when I was this, he did this, all of that. Right? But all of that is summarizing this one thing. The will of the Father. Are you doing the will of the Father? And we went back and say the will of the Father in creation is his glory. The only reason he created man was to show forth his glory. So he made man in his image and his likeness. Just think about yourself. You want to build an estate. Right now, I'm thinking of building a chapel, right? I'm going to build a chapel. And I'm thinking about the name to call it. I'm already thinking I'm going to call it St. Akin's Chapel. Why? It's because it's something I'm building. To the glory of God, but yet in my only two humanness, I'm thinking of calling it my name because I want it to represent me. That same way God has created us to represent him. And the way we represent him is to the extent to which we model him. So let's quickly look at the, one of the first ways God shows himself that we are supposed to model him. He's in creation itself. So we look at Genesis 1-1 itself. God comes to a situation that is dark, a situation that is hopeless, a situation that has no connection, no form or the order. And God shows us an example to face life, right? You know, we, we can talk about different things that happen to create that situation. You know, we talk about maybe when the angels fell and all of that, all of that. 
But the key thing that we know for sure that the scripture starts with is everything was out of shape. Everything was dark. It was hopeless. It was depressing. Right? God did not dance to that. God did not say, oh, it's helpless. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh. God did what he could do. He did not look at what he could not do. And that's assuming that God himself is, 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 is limited. Is limited. But we we'll see that what God did was, he did not even talk first. He did not take any action, first of all. The first thing God did was he began to go over it, represented by his spirit, right? The word over there is the word to meditate, is the word to ambition, is the word to, to, to sit like the hen sits over the chicken, to incubate it, giving it eat so that it can come to a place where it can bring forth fruit. The chicken can come from the egg, it can hatch. Well, that is what God was doing over this situation, right? So in the situations we face also in life, as we, as we represent God, we don't jump into solution. We don't just rush into it. We spend time to say, out of this situation that my life is facing, what can I, do I want to bring out of it, right? In that way, we model God. I don't know what you might be facing right now. I don't know what situation of your life is right now. I don't know whether you're happy, you're not happy. I don't know what you want out of it. But the only solution first is to be able to spend time to think over it. What do I want out of this situation of my life? What do I want out of my life tomorrow? Today, tomorrow, right? What do I want out of my life next week, next month, next year? whatever, then ask yourself, what can I do? What can I begin to do today that will bring that about, right? And God began to over, over the bad situation. And when he decided what he wanted to do with it, he began to speak into existence. And that's one of the ways by which we represent God. So begin to create, begin to speak forth what we want, right? God spoke and created something out of nothing, right? In our own, it's speaking, but it's not just speaking, it's doing also, right? We, we, we begin to do the things we can do out of, the, out of the hopeless situation. Life is not about the things you cannot do. God is not going to hold you captive for the things you cannot do. He will hold you captive for the things you can do. And that's the minimum life aspects of you. I need to stop because my time is over or continue tomorrow. I, this week is empty, so it gives me an opportunity to talk about this. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you're getting something out of it. I know it's so basic, but that's my life. I, I, swore to, I seemingly swore to God, I would not talk to people on things that are complex, but things that are simple. But don't take it for granted. There's a whole lot to it. They look simple. All right, I'm going to close. Um, anyone wants to say something before I close? Pastor Shaggy, you want to say something before I close? Not at all. Eh? Not at all. Nothing, all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when, when the game goes tough, that's when God appears. So I seem like a, a, a miracle giant. Amen. So, and I appreciate him that it is a tough, tough thing that he gives to his beloved so that he will glorify himself in it all. Amen. Amen. It's all about him. It's all about his glory. It's all about God. Just a beauty, anything. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I thank God for this message. Um, we are the bride of Christ. And we bride is supposed to display the glory of the husband. And the Bible that he is our husband, he is our head, that consciousness of the fact that my God, I'm to, I'm to display the glory of my husband as a bride to the king of kings, should always be at the back of our hearts, praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My wife, you want to say anything? Wifey, don't say anything. No, no. All right. Great, great. So I'll see you tomorrow. Continue tomorrow. God bless you. Have a 
great remaining of the day. All right, talk yeah. to you tomorrow. God bless you. Bless you.